and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage WrestleMania report as concerns the events, the planning, the strategy, WWE uh, flipping the switch, a little swipping and swapping going on, swip swap. Regarding Triple H's Terminator entrance at WrestleMania last night, according to F4W Online, according to the dirt sheets and the websites, look it up, you know where it is. Uh, at WrestleMania, the entrance that Triple H had last night, which I thought was epic. A lot of people were hating on it. I thought it was great. I thought it came off awesome on television. Word is that WWE officials were scrambling all week to lock Arnold Schwarzenegger in for voiceover, according to PW Insider. Arnold didn't do them until Saturday night at the WWE Hall of Fame. The delays with getting Arnold to do the voiceovers caused some major stress among people in WWE production at WrestleMania. Vince McMahon was apparently very hands-on. Uh, for the weekend for, of WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame. Vince was wearing a headset working with Kevin Nash on his speech during rehearsals. WWE Network surpasses 1.3 million subscribers following WrestleMania. According to PW Insider, Bray Wyatt did suffer a badly sprained ankle while preparing for WrestleMania 31 on Sunday afternoon. The sprain was so bad that Wyatt couldn't even stand or walk on it for a long time backstage. He ended up wearing a cast on his ankle for the rest of the evening until it was time for his match with The Undertaker. As of last night, WWE officials had not decided on whether or not Sting will be uh, wrestling going forward. This is why the angle with the NWO and DX last night may have seemed a like a send-off for the Stinger. Sting is open to working for more dates if WWE wants him to. There is also rumors of WWE doing the old swip swap as it concerns match plans, booking, and creative changes at WrestleMania last night, which is why many of what the dirt sheets and the websites reported going into WrestleMania, a lot of it didn't happen because the WWE decided to hit the reset button. I got a lot of comments. I got a lot of constructive criticism. Sean, you should check into your sources. Sean, you should verify your short sources. Sean, you don't know what you're talking about. Sh listen. I only give my view and my opinion of what I read and what I see and what I hear. Once again, it's not my fault if the WWE decides to go in another direction. Sean, you reported what this was going to happen for WrestleMania, but really they did this instead. Once again, I don't work with the WWE. I don't tell the WWE to change plans. They do what they want to do on their coin, on their time. It's their company. They run it how they run it. All I am here to do is provide my view and opinion of the rumors, the news, the gossip, and the speculation. That's all I am here to do. And if you don't like what I do, well then unsubscribe and block me. That's all I can say. Listen, can't be right all the time. You can't be spot on all the time. But once again, I'm not the one that reports it. I'm just here with a view and an opinion. So thank you for your comments and your opinions. This is Sean Drew Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to visit all the newsletters, the websites, and the dirt sheets. And once again, the WWE always loves to hit that reset button. Subscribe.